So Madison, we know that those signs were no longer posted near some of these ballot boxes, but King County Elections is very concerned by this, saying that those signs could dissuade voters from dropping off their ballots. The sign reads, this ballot box is under surveillance. It also says, accepting compensation for harvesting or depositing ballots may be a violation of federal law. We definitely viewed this as intimidation and spreading misinformation. Kendall Hodson is chief of staff for King County Elections. She says the signs are illegal under federal and state law. And any wording that makes voters second guess these official boxes or discourages them from voting is an intimidation tactic. You shouldn't have to feel that way when you drop your ballot. These drop boxes are 100% secure. They were posted near at least nine ballot boxes in King County, including Bothell by the Broadview Branch Library, Mercer Island, and Ballard, Kirkland, Federal Way, and Woodenville. Included on the sign is a QR code with the line, please report suspicious activity here. We tried it out, and the code takes you to the King County Republican Party webpage to submit an election incident report. King 5 asked the King County GOP about this. The chairman of the party, Matthew Patrick Thomas, referred us to a cease and desist letter that requested his party's members remove and discontinue placement of the signs. And he took quick action to ask folks to stop this. So we've been really appreciative of that. Governor Jay Inslee had a strong reaction. This is an outrage. This is an absolute affront to everything we hold dear, which is the vote, the right to vote. Exactly who or what group was responsible is less clear. I'm not aware of who all has posted these signs. The King County Sheriff's Office telling King 5 they are looking into this. So looking ahead to tomorrow, the Washington Secretary of State is holding a roundtable discussion on what they are calling false narratives surrounding the elections. Of course, we will follow that. But for now, we are live in Mercer Island. I'm Christine Pei, King 5 News.